Despite the gunshots, the crowbars, and the blood, this is not a crime scene. Um, this is going at about 10,000 frames per second. It's a research project underway at UC Davis. I was hitting a blood soaked sponge, so pretty much simulating what would happen in a, you know, an actual criminal event. And from this, we'll be able to measure the impact velocity at which the baseball bat hits the sponge. Until now, analyzing blood stain patterns was considered subjective. A forensic expert could only predict whether a criminal had used a gun or a blunt object by looking at the blood pattern left behind. It was a controversial practice, so the National Institute of Justice provided a grant to a UC Davis forensic science graduate group and a chemical engineering professor to find a way to determine scientifically precisely whether and how a crime might have occurred. When there's no body, um, and all the clues, the only clue you have is a bloodstain pattern. What actually generated that? That's the big uh, challenge. The answer lies in velocity. This pattern will be analyzed by a computer program that can measure the size and position of each droplet and determine whether it was created by a high velocity impact, say a gunshot, or medium velocity, which is more likely from a blunt object. In current forensic practice, you'd be able to tell this is definitely a medium velocity pa spatter pattern. Oops. It's scientific criteria that could help answer a very important crime scene question. Was it a gun, a hammer, or simply a nosebleed? Kristen Samos for UC Davis.